Yep, it's the good, the bad, and the incredibly mind-bogglingly ugly, the good. Democratic Congressman Jared Polis. In an event yesterday, Polis called on Congress to end the prohibition against marijuana. He cited his state's experience with loosening restrictions on the plant and said, we've seen the benefits across the board as a job creation engine in Colorado. As sorely needed contributions to our revenue on the state level, it is critical and important for advocacy at the national stage. All right, uh, it's time to call out marijuana for what it really is, a medicine. And a uh, nice recreational thing. Uh, the bad, Alan Greenspan, the former chairman of the Fed, at whose feet a lot of blame for the financial meltdown can be laid, penned an op-ed in the Financial Times blasting Wall Street reform laws. He advocated fewer regulations, writing, with notable rare exceptions, 2008, for example, the global invisible hand has created relatively stable exchange rates, interest rates, prices, and wage rates. 2008? A rare exception? That's right. Greenspan called the worst financial collapse since 1929 a rare exception. I guess he would also consider the 1929 crash a rare exception in deregulated markets. These guys just aren't able to see the obvious truth. Deregulated markets, as happened in the 20s, led right to 29. As happened in the as it happened in the early 2000s, led right to 2008. Always lead to crashes. And the very very ugly today, Rick Scott, will lay out cuts for de developmentally disabled. This is the governor of Florida. Will lay out cuts for developmentally disabled people, and then attend a photo op at. A Special Olympics. Yep, you heard me right. Got Florida Governor Republican Rick Scott just announced deep cuts to programs to help the developmentally disabled in his state. He's going to use his emergency powers to impose a 15% cut to the rates charged by group home workers and caseworkers who help the 30,000 Floridians with cerebral palsy, autism, and Down syndrome. And the same day, this sociopath's cuts are announced. Scott is scheduled to appear at a Special Olympics torch run with his wife and other state officials. I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's, uh, you know, the run, of course, is designed to promote the upcoming Special Olympics in Florida, raise money for developmentally disabled athletes. Maybe that's how he thinks it should be. If you're born with Down syndrome, you should either be born with rich parents or you should beg on the streets. But it's not the government's job to take, you know, to, to provide your parents with any help to, to care, take care of you. I just, this is, uh, this is beyond ugly. This is sick and twisted.